I'm Christian Stoichescu from Pixel Your Site. In this video, I want to answer the most common questions and cover the most hot topics about the Facebook Pixel and Facebook Conversion API. I will cover things like Conversion API and iOS 14, um, aggregated event measurement or event matching score. So let's start by answering the main question here. Is the Facebook Pixel still useful? Yes, I think it is. The Facebook Pixel is still the uh, main way you can track your Facebook ads results and send key data to Facebook. So uh, I, think, I think it's still relevant and you definitely need to have it correctly implemented on your website. Even if you don't do Facebook ads at the moment, maybe you want to do them later. So having a Facebook pixel, it's a good idea. Um, what is conversion API? Um, well, conversion API um, allows you to send data directly to Facebook server servers by passing the visitors browser. Uh, so your server will communicate with Facebook servers and send conversion API events. Uh, the main advantage is that you will be able to overcome limitations uh, in the browser like privacy settings or ad blockers. So this is why we have um, conversion API. Now, can I use conversion API events without the Facebook pixel on my website? I get this question from some people and uh, the answer is no. Right now, Conversion API works as a backup for the browser. Uh, so you can't, you can't use uh, Conversion API events without the Facebook pixel, at least not yet. This is how things work and right now. Facebook recommends having the Facebook pixel as your main tracking tool and Conversion API as a backup um, solution. Okay, another interesting one. Can I install the Facebook Pixel with one tool and Conversion API events with another tool? Uh, lately, a lot of people come to us and uh, ask uh, something um, like, I have a um, Google Tag Manager in, on my website. I install uh, the Facebook Pixel with Google Tag Manager. Can I use your plugin, Pixel Your Site, to add just Conversion API events? So I get this uh, kind of questions. And the thing is, it's not possible. A conversion API event must track the same data uh, and they must have the same event name and the same, the same event ID as the pixel events in order for the duplication to work. Because of this, they must be implemented with the same tool. So you cannot have um, the Facebook pixel installed with uh, Google Tag Manager and the conversion API events uh, configured with other tool like our plugin or something else. Uh, okay, what is the events, the duplication, and how does it work? Uh, this is a key thing, and you need to understand events the duplication refers to a very specific process. Now, uh, when you send conversion API events, in reality, you send a pair of two events, a browser event and a conversion API event. In order to track uh, the action just once, Facebook will use the duplication. Basically, if an event, and if a pair of events, browser and conversion API, have the same event name and the same event ID, event ID is a parameter, a parameter specific to uh, conversion API events and browser events. So if they are the same, Facebook will deduplicate, drop the conversion API events and process just the uh, browser event. So that's how the duplication works and that's why you need to use um, the same event ID for both the browser event and conversion API event. Okay. Oh, what is this uh, track events automatically without code and when should I use it? Oh, um, this uh, if track events automatically without code, it's a feature you can find inside your events manager. Go to settings, scroll, and you'll see it. And what it does um, is that Facebook, if you have the Facebook pixel on your website with no events, Facebook will try to guess when an action takes place and 
automatically fire the corresponding event. Uh, the thing is, it works on browser level only, so it doesn't work with conversion API events. And you should not use it if you already have a tool that configures events the proper way, like with code. Uh, so if you have our plugin or if you have Pixel Your Site, if you have um, Facebook for WooCommerce or even Facebook for WordPress plugins, or if you are, you are on Shopify and have a, an app that sends events, you should not enable this uh, option. Uh, the result will be uh, that your data will be reported twice. And, and this can create a mess. Use it only if you don't have a way to track events uh, on your website, to implement events on your website. So if you are a Pixlr site user, don't use it. Okay, what is events matching score and why is different for various events? This is quite interesting. Uh, this score tells you how well matching works for your conversion API events. Uh, the thing is, events with more uh, data about the customer or the, the visitor that trigger the event will have a better matching score. So uh, let's imagine how a website works. A visitor comes to your website, they will always trigger a view content, a page view event. So everybody visiting your uh, website will have a, a page view event at least. If they visit a product, they will have a view content event. If they add to cart, an add to cart event, and if they buy the product, they will have a purchase event. So everybody will trigger the page view event. Some people will trigger the view content event. A, a few, a, a smaller number will trigger the add to cart, and the smallest number will trigger the purchase event. When are you able to send a lot of information for your uh, website visitor? When do you know their name, their email address, their phone number, uh, zip code, and stuff like that? When they purchase something for you, from you. So the purchase event will have the better score. The page view event, fire for everybody, will have the lowest score because you don't have enough data to send with your conversion API events. So this is why you have different scores for events and this is why usually if you run, a, uh, if you run a, an e-commerce website, the purchase event will have a higher score and uh, the page view event will have a lower score. So that's, that's how you can understand this, this kind of uh, data. A good one. Is Facebook conversion API the fix for iOS 14 privacy issues? And look, when iOS 14 update took place, 14.5, I think it was, uh, and they introduced all these privacy limitations, um, a lot of people, marketers, uh, sold solutions sold conversion API as a solution for the iOS 14 update. Uh, this was just a marketing trick because in reality, uh, conversion API is not the fix for iOS 14 privacy stuff. Uh, why is that? Facebook must respect the privacy of users that opted out of tracking on iOS 14 devices. They must do so because Facebook has to follow App Store terms of use. If they want their apps to be in App Store, Facebook app, Instagram, uh, Messenger, WhatsApp, if they want their app in the App Store, they must respect Apple rules. So they simply can not use conversion API to um, overcome these privacy limitations. I'm sorry to give you this bad news, but that's how it is. What we have instead is uh, aggregated event, me event measurement. So what is aggregated event measurement? Uh, this is a protocol between, between Facebook and Apple 
that allows Facebook to track conversions for users that opted out of tracking on iOS devices in an anonymous way. So Facebook will know that uh, someone clicked an ad and converted on uh, an iOS for iOS device and they will know the value of that conversion but they will not be able to tell to match the conversion with a Facebook user that's uh, basically how it works uh, that's why we have a delay because um, the data is sent with some delay in order for Facebook not to be able to match uh, the conversion to a user and uh, there are other limitations you can track up to eight conversion events this can be events or conversions uh, configured on Facebook uh, and only the top event is reported uh, it means that you can arrange order your events and uh, for example if I come to your website and I visit the product view page I add to cart add to cart event and I purchase purchase event uh, usually the purchase event is your top event and only purchase will be reported for all these um, funeral so add to cart of your content will not be reported back to Facebook so there are some limitations and I notice a lot of delay with aggregate event measurement uh, this is how it works and that's what you need to know about it uh, by the way you will find this um, aggregated event measurement inside your events measurement events um, manager there is a tab there and if you don't have it configured already you should uh, go click add your domain and uh, configure the events that you want to track probably you already have them or um, added by Facebook automatically okay that's a big one uh, Facebook ads miss some of my cells why is that hmm well first thing I want to explain is that um, only conversions generated by ads are reported so if you have uh, 10 purchases on your store and three of them um, came from Google and one direct um, Facebook will and six are from from ads the maximum number of conversions that Facebook can uh, report is six however chances are that you will not see them all because uh, Facebook is limited by a lot of things and is not able to track all conversions uh, ad blockers browser privacy settings consent options on your website consent prompt um, on Facebook's websites and apps for uh, EU users account privacy settings all of them can limit Facebook ability to track conversions uh, to overcome this problem Facebook uses something called model conversion meaning that their software will try to guess when a conversion takes place even if they don't have data direct data from the pixel or from facebook conversion api about it so this is something something that will uh, m improve reporting a bit but not completely so uh, right now you have to understand that facebook is not technically and legally allowed to track all conversions so our reports will will miss some of them and that's how it is uh, okay I think I covered the the most questions and the hot topics um, if you like this kind of content please subscribe and uh, like this video ideally you find it uh, useful uh, thank you for watching